The Chanukah Light Series is sponsored by Max and Anita Benatar, the Ilu Nishat Dialea Basara Rasha. Bet Shammai and Bet Hillel. They both famously argue on how to light the Chanukah candles. Bet Shammai says we start with eight and decrease every night, just like the oxen sacrificed on the holiday of Sukkot decreased as the holiday went on. Bet Hillel says we start with one and increase every night as we continue to go up in holiness and not go downwards. The Chanukah candles represent man's ascension to spirituality. The word ner stands for nefesh and ruach, soul and spirit, or neshama and ruach. And the letters of Chanukah can be rearranged to read chana kafvav, which means to dwell and camp among the 26, representing Hashem's holy name. As a person rises in spirituality, the evil inclination and Satan are there to impede his progress. Bet Shammai gives us his advice on how to combat him. Simple. Slowly burn away the thorns in the vineyard. Etch away his influence found within us until he is no longer effective. If you do it all at once, cold turkey, you won't be successful in eliminating him. It will just come back to bite again. When attacking him little by little, you will merit to receive the Kedushah you desire. So the Yetzara begins as one big idea, but when we slowly chip away, it becomes smaller and smaller. But Hillel says that we continue to add to our spirituality every day a little more. As long as we do it for the sake of heaven, we will be so engulfed in holiness that the inclination will have little effect on us. And therefore his advice is to work on our avodat Hashem, our service of God, every day. Take upon ourselves something a little more. Be better. Be stronger. Be wiser. Be that light which makes you shine. Tune in for part 5 tomorrow.